Tonight, South Street is still struggling nearly a year after a mass shooting claimed the lives of three people. And people are still very much concerned about whether they're in fact safe. Seanette, some business owners on South Street, they are not giving up hope. They're hoping for a comeback here. Well, Sheba, you know, it is happening, but they tell me that it is slow. Behind me, you'll notice that uh, there are p police here. They are consistently present on South Street for an extra sense of security. Police also close South Street to car traffic. Uh, this happens every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night in the evenings. They close it from 3rd Street going down toward Front. South Street is a great marketing place. Um, you meet so many different people from out of town to inner city or those that you may not have even seen before. He goes by Maverick the Poet. He's an artist and partner at the self-care business Black and Nobel, which moved to this location on South Street about seven years ago. Whether you want to get a good book of knowledge information, whether you want to get uh, fragrances, um, things for good skin care. He remembers the old South Street, thriving and no vacant storefronts. He used to have live artists, he used to have vendors up and down the block. A lot of that is making a comeback, but some business owners say things have changed. One year ago this weekend, there was a mass shooting on South Street. Three were killed and nearly a dozen hurt. You know, I drove a lot of people away. Because people are in fear. Once you have people in fear, they, they see what, you know, fight or flight. Some believe that has changed people's perspective of South Street. As far as the whole South Street, though, yes, it slowed down because the traffic dramatically slowed down. But as of now, it's picking back up to where it used to be. Sarah Cowell is with the South Street Headhouse District. Our community is extremely strong and resilient, but that doesn't mean we're not still healing. She says things are turning the corner, though. We did not have any businesses close as a direct result of the incident that happened last year. We have had 38 new businesses open since 2022. Yeah, we, that will soon be a cafe and hotel and home goods store uh, on the 200 block of South Street and very excitingly Queen and Rook Game Cafe uh, making the same exact move. Events like this midweek evening hours farmers market are also popping up. So that everyone can come out on the street, celebrate, and really call South Street home. And for more information on things that are going to be developing, happening here on South Street, especially as we get closer to summer, go to fox29.com. Jason, you can probably hear in the background the live music is going on. So the energy is returning. Um, they just want to get more people down here and, of course, supporting these businesses. That's right. Nobody's quitting here. And uh, Philly's not known yeah. for that. And uh, we will recover. All right, Seanette, thank you very much.